Hi, this is Chris Shattuck with buildamodule.com, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to add CSS and JavaScript to your module. So once you've started building your module and you have a grasp of hooks, probably one of the one of the first things you're going to do is is need to add a CSS file or a JavaScript file in order to to add functionality to your module and the look and feel, of course. So um, but what do you do? Where's the best place to put your CSS files? How do you add them? So in this short video, I'm going to cover a few things. I'm going to cover how do you add a CSS file, where do you add it in the module, and what about adding it in line, you know, as opposed to in an external file. Let's look at four different examples of how different modules are using uh, JavaScript and CSS files. How do they add it into their module? So um, let's take a look at a, a common module called DHTML menu. Um, this module allows an expansion and contraction of a menu tree, of your navigation menu tree, without reloading the page. Um, it needs some JavaScript and CSS to do that. So, so here we can see um, that the DHTML menu module is calling the init hook. And this hook is intended to allow people to add, uh, run things after all of the um, all of the Drupal files have been loaded, but before anything has been output yet. So this is what you want to use when you need to add something to a page. Um, in many cases, when you need to add a file to a page before it gets presented to the viewer. So this is, this is where we want to put our CSS files and our JavaScript files. So we'll look at, um, at both examples for this one. Um, you can see this line here. There's a Drupal add CSS function. And that function, with that function, you can add a file and it will, it will create a registry of CSS files, which will then get added to the, to the page once it's output. Now there are several places where you can put CSS files. You can put them directly in a template file, for example. But the downside to doing that is that you don't benefit from several other things that happen with, uh, with the files registered this way. So one thing, uh, one important thing, for example, is that there's an option to aggregate CSS files. And what this does is, is compress all of the CSS files into a single file which dras can drastically reduce the, uh, the upload time, the download time of a page. You know, it just takes a while to load when there's so many CSS files to process. So CSS files added this way will get added to that, that um, compression, that optimization. So it's a good place to do that. You can see that there's also another function being used here called Drupal Get Path. And this is a handy function that'll allow you to um, no matter where your function is or where your page is, what this will do is create a, an, a relative. Thank you for watching this preview from buildamodule.com. On our website, we offer a number of free videos as well as several others that are available for a reasonable price. Come check us out.